Get ready to uncover a mind-blowing truth that's been hiding in plain sight. Your salt shaker holds the key to a shocking revelation about your health. Today, we're embarking on an exhilarating journey deep within your body to unravel the mysteries of salt. Buckle up, because in this captivating video, we're diving headfirst into the world of this humble yet powerful ingredient that's likely sitting in your kitchen right now. Salt. That's right. That tiny granule responsible for adding flavor to our meals also wields a profound impact on our bodies. Get your water bottle handy because we're leaving no stone unturned. By the time we're done, you'll realize that staying hydrated is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to managing your salt intake. So, prepare to be amazed as we uncover the hidden truths about salt and its remarkable effects on your health. And don't even think about clicking away because we've got some jaw-dropping tips and game-changing alternatives waiting for you at the end of this eye-opening journey. Let's dive in and revolutionize the way you think about your diet. Are you ready? Let's go. Hidden Truths About Salt All right, gather around for a little salty tale. Picture this. We were once the kind of people who'd liberally sprinkle salt on just about everything. Yep, even our morning omelets got the salty treatment. But here's the kicker. Even if you're not as salt-obsessed as we used to be, chances are you're still getting more sodium than you bargained for. Here's the scoop. If you're a fan of dining out or grabbing those quick canned or frozen meals, you might be unknowingly loading up on sodium. We'll never forget the time we were floored to discover that our beloved canned soup contained nearly a day's worth of sodium. And we hadn't even touched the salt shaker. Now, our bodies do need some sodium to keep ticking, but here's the twist. Most of us are consuming way more than necessary. Get this. The average person clocks in around 3,400 milligrams a day. Mind-blowing, right? That's way over the 2,300 milligrams daily limit suggested by the 2020 through 2025 Dietary Guidelines for Americans. And hold on to your hats because the American Heart Association takes it even further, recommending we stick to around 1,500 milligrams. Signs of overdoing salt. Ever wondered why we sometimes get a headache out of the blue? Well, too much sodium could be the culprit. It's all about the balance of fluids in our bodies, and too much salt can throw that off. I remember this one time after a salty pizza night, we woke up with such a headache. It felt like our brains were doing a gymnastics routine in our skulls. Turns out, when our bodies are trying to balance out all that salt, they can actually pull water away from other places, like our brains. Scary, right? And when our brains lose water, they shrink a bit, causing that headache. Now, if that's not enough, eating too much salt can also lead to some pretty yucky feelings like nausea, dizziness, and even vomiting in extreme cases. Who hasn't felt a bit queasy after going overboard on salty snacks? So what do we do if we find ourselves with a pounding headache after a salty meal? Our go-to solution is to drink lots of plain water. It sounds simple but it really helps to flush out all that extra sodium and can ease the headache. So, next on our salt saga is cravings. Managing salt cravings. Something we bet a lot of us can relate to. Those unstoppable cravings for salty foods. Ever find yourself daydreaming about a big bag of chips or those perfectly salted french fries? Yeah, we too. The more salty stuff we eat, the more our bodies start to crave it. It's like our taste buds get so used to that salty punch, they start demanding more. We used to be hooked on salted nuts. We'd eat them by the handful and still want more. But here's the tricky part. Breaking that salt craving cycle is tough. We started by cutting back slowly. Like instead of going cold turkey, we just used a little less salt each time or chose lower sodium options when eating out. We got into the habit of asking for dishes with less salt. You'd be surprised how much sodium is in restaurant food. It's like a salt bomb waiting to go off. And here's a little trick that helped us a lot replacing salt with other seasonings. Trust use, your spice rack can be your best friend. Try sprinkling some herbs or spices instead of reaching for the salt shaker. It's all about getting creative and finding new flavors that satisfy those cravings without all the sodium. So go ahead, experiment with those spices, and see how your taste buds light up. Side effects of excessive salt. Next on our list of salt side effects, and oh boy do we have stories about this one, swelling and puffiness. Ever had one of those days where you feel like a human balloon? That could be the salt doing. Too much of it makes our bodies hold onto water like they're preparing for a drought. This leads to swelling, 
bloating, and that not-so-fun puffiness. We mean hello puffy under-eye circles and sausage fingers. There was this one time after a weekend of indulging in super salty foods. We swear our ring felt like it was cutting off our circulation. And don't get us started on trying to squeeze into our pants. It was like a workout in itself. And speaking of workouts, did you know that too much salt can mess with your fitness game too? It's not like it'll directly impact your muscles or anything, but feeling bloated and heavy is not exactly the best state to be in when you're moving around. We remember this one time we felt so sluggish during our morning run, all because of the salty meal we had the night before. But here's the thing. A little salt after a sweat session can be good, especially to replenish those lost electrolytes. The key is balance. You don't want to dive into a workout already overloaded with sodium. All right, moving on to another telltale sign of too much salt, being super thirsty. Dealing with excessive thirst. Ever feel like no matter how much you drink, your mouth is still a desert? That's salt for you. It messes with our body's water balance, making us feel like we could drink a whole ocean. We remember this one summer day. We were out and about snacking on salty pretzels. By the afternoon, our mouths were so dry, we were guzzling water like there was no tomorrow. It turns out all that salt was pulling water from our bodies, causing us to be super thirsty as our bodies tried to get back to their happy, hydrated state. So what's the fix? First, drink plenty of water, of course, but also keep an eye on the salty snacks and meals. And hey, don't forget to check those labels on store-bought items. You'd be surprised where sodium can hide. We once found a ton of salt in a supposedly healthy granola bar. Talk about misleading. And here's a little heads up. Excessive thirst isn't just a salt thing. It can also be a sign of diabetes. So if cutting back on salt doesn't dial down your thirst levels, it might be a good idea to chat with your doctor. Better safe than sorry. Think of our kidneys as our body's natural filter. When we overload them with salt, they have to work harder, which isn't great for them in the long run. Also, research shows that too much salt over time can even lead to kidney failure. Scary stuff. So, what's the takeaway? Simple. Taking it easy on the salt can give our kidneys a much-needed break. Before you rush off to raid your kitchen for hidden salt, let's chat in the comments. Tell us, were any of these symptoms a wake-up call for you? Or maybe you've got your own salty story to share. We'd love to hear how you're managing your salt intake or any tips you have for kicking the salt habit. If you found this video enlightening, give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends who might be living that salty life a little too much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Catch you in the next video.